Hello everyone, FPS Chazza here. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. I am here at the SATCOM array to get the fusion core that I actually left. Wow, it threw that right at me. Good lord, that is annoying. Doge is around here somewhere. I think Doge might have actually already killed the raider. Seems like it. Wow, nice. What is that? Oh, some kind of car park or something. Where's the raider? Just is this one? I guess so. It's like one raider out here. So this, I was probably just gonna like cut into right me at the fusion core picking it up, but uh, eh, I don't know. Figured it might be repopulated because I saw that stuff get does get repopulated in this game. So we'll go through and make sure it is clear. I uh, went out last night, so my voice is trash, <laughs> if you're wondering. But it's right down here, so we should just be able to pick it up and be good. Doesn't look like there's anyone else down here, so... Yeah, get that. So sweet. Fusion core attained. I'll meet you back at Sanctuary. Oh god, that is terrifying looking. Jesus. I've seen one dead, but I haven't seen one in action yet. All right, Preston, where ye be? This place is Who was this talking to me? I don't know. <laughs> I think Preston's right over here. Oh, look at this. We got a whole collection of oh, Mama Murph's out here too. Well, you, well what the hell? You giving Preston a hand job or something? You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from... Oh, you don't say. That's cool. Oh, but now I'm over in combat. Mama Murph, take some of my shit. Put that crap in the fucking... The bank or something. Take that shit to the bank. Eh. Uh, how much... I don't have much ammo for that. The old 10 millimeter. Well, what can I get rid of? I don't know. Hmm. I have a pipe auto pistol. And a pipe pistol. This has more accuracy, but this is auto... <laughs> Damage 10. Interesting. Something has to go. Light pipe pistol. Accuracy 58, damage 12. And drop the light pipe pistol. Yeah, go for that. I'm still overweight. Still overweight. Damn, this thing weighs a decent bit. Okay, uh. A petrol. I have this Ushanka still. Oh, I got all this crab that's like heavy. Heavy as hell. Boiled leather chest piece. This gives me more electric, but not more chest piece than this. No more damage resistance, so I'm just gonna get rid of that then. Okay. We are good to go. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy Oh my energy, oh god. Give me a break. Okay, where's uh where's Sturges at? Okay, what is there something I can like Okay, so more Preston Garvey stuff. Yeah, we can do that. Let me... Eh, I'll, I'll talk to Preston first. And then we'll talk to Stoiges here, so... Preston! Come over here. I want to talk to you again. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you Didn't were we already go over this? The job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So, there's something okay, I there you go. <laughs> I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. If you're ready. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? No. No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other? and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended and conquered. Whew. Don't give up. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will I look ridiculous. <laughs> about to give up. 
but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. What about you? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Why me? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Sure. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. That's a big promotion. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising <laughs> spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. All right, let's go talk to Sturge's bitch ass. Where you at, Sturge's? He's all the way over here. Jeez. Okay. Well, where where is this place that we are we are going off to? All the way down there. Good lord. Okay. I might try and get to. Why do I have that Cambridge Polymer Labs? They probably came for something. I might try and. Continue pressing on the Diamond City before I get to that. I don't know. Kind of want to check that place out. Alright, Sturges, where are you at? My guy isn't a particularly fast sprinter. I was kind of gauging what his 40 time would be. <laughs> uh, you're, oh, he's probably sleeping. Wake up! Oh, but did I mention Preston? So Preston can be a companion now. That's very interesting to me. Sleep late there. Wake up! Hey, Sturges. <laughs> uh. I don't even know what time it is right now this in the game. This place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food... Look at me when I'm talking to you. ...we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. What kind of defenses? What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. All right, I go back to sleep, you dumb, dumb, did a bum. Hmm. Do I want to work on that kind of crap right now? Not really. Uh, you know what? Let's let let let's press on ahead to Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I'm gonna go to the Red Rocket Factory. Actually, let's work on it from Vault 111. So I'm on the other side of this water. So let's go here. It shouldn't take too long to load. It's right over the freaking hill. But we will see. Oh, start this up, please. How long has that not been going for? Oh god, I don't know how long I've been recording for. Uh, I'm gonna say it's been six minutes right now or something like that. What'd you find? This stuff? Oh, I guess so. Cool. Right away, Radax. Nice. Alright, so let us... Yeah, just start heading south now. Doesn't look like there are really any locations. Is that... No, I don't think I'm seeing that. There's no way I'm seeing that. I'm... I don't even, I barely see that statue from here. So there's something coming up like around here. So we will see what it is. Oh, spooky out. It's Dak. And spooky. But yeah, I think I mentioned this several times, but yeah, the ambience is really, from what little I've played of the first Fallout, the ambience in this game much more reminds me of the first Fallout than Fallout 3. Ah, oh, freaking boxed water. What is this? What's up with that pattern? It's like someone's been watching the vault or something here. This is interesting. 
purified water. Oh, dog walking up just there scared the crap out of me. I thought some person walking up here was like, geez. You're always more scared of people because human's the most dangerous animal. <laughs> There's a freaking mole rat. Suck it. What up, bitch? Man, I missed every single shot. <laughs> Boom! Headshot! No scope. 100% <laughs> of the shots I make with a knife are no scopes. Alright, let's see. Nothing else around. Okay, just making sure. Just double checking that this is our only location nearby here. Seems to be rather close. Ooh, a factory coming up too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? That's very interesting looking. What are you growling, snickering, and snonkering at? Ooh, there's a raider. Oh, there's raiders up in them hills. That's interesting, there's raiders. Is that a raider right there? Oh shit. Oh shit. <coughs> Suck frag, bitches. Damn, that was nice. There's still one more over there, but I got one of them done there good. Where the fuck is he? Get him, doge. Kill him off. There you go. Sweet. That was fun. Interesting. There's a little raider outpost right near frickin' our sanctuary, dude. That's crazy. I didn't know these were up here. <laughs> yeah, we probably do need those defenses then. Alright, where are all these people I just frickin' killed? Mm. Their body oh, man, that's a frickin' tumble. Scarlet takes it. It looks like we're gonna be going down there eventually, maybe. Mayhaps. Where's this water? This is the water I was trying to avoid, but it looks like we're going over it anyway. Alright, uh, I searched you... There might have been one other person over here. There's an attack dog. Ooh, a chem stash. Nuka cherry, a tato. Hrem. Let's see. They made the pit light a lot more, uh, <laughs> like, uh, ooh, yeah, do that. Sleepy. Sleepy deepy. They gave the pit boy much more of, like, a green glow. Ooh. It's already starting to get early, or da daylight out. Hmm. Oh, there's lots of stuff. There's like a farm, a factory, some kind of tent or something. Interesting. Oh. This is kind of just what I've been wanting to do recently. Just do some exploration. <laughs> That's all the fun of this game. Whoa. Did you see those freaking shadows just change all of a sudden? Oh my god, a tank. Oh, here's the other person. Sweet. Letter chess piece plus. I think my welded thing is probably better. What do we got over here? With this tank. This is an interesting looking thing. This is very kind of Warhammer looking. <laughs> 40k that is. Yo, fucking get out of here. You're fucking stinging the shit out of my dog. Well, I'm not doing any damage to this thing. What the hell's going on? Dude, these things are kind of strong. And he's routing. He's routing. Oh, there's another one. Oh, another one. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh. This is so terrifying. Freaking wasting all my ammo from this shit. What other guns do I... Where's that freaking thing running off to? Is there another one over there? No, it's just a blowfly. Is that really all the damage I just did to that thing? Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more ammo on it from that. <laughs> okay, where you at, bitch? I freaking... That's all the damage I did to that. What is up with enemies being... Is there... Do I have some kind of... Status ailment? Because all these enemies seem to be very strong right about now. I'm taking a lot of radiation damage, I'm aware. This freaking... That's a different blowfly. I'm not sure where that mosquito thing went off to. Yeah, there's lots of radiation shit. Is that all that's going on here? Just radiation? Yeah, oh, that's a lot of radiation. Okay, yeah. With these transport index three things. Army helmet, I'll take that. Okay. Just making sure I've gotten everything here I wanted to get. And let's get the hell out of here, frickin' those guy. Those bugs are goddamn creepy. 
Wow, that's a lot of radiation just from walking in water. Good lord. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use a rat away. Yes, a whale. And maybe drink a nuka cherry. So sweet. We'll do with that. We'll go with that. Where is my... Here it is. My pipe raffle. Okay, so we're coming up on something here. I'm not sure what it is. I think with the timer, I'm going to have to... I can go a little bit long. Oh, it's a little house. A little housey house house. So it doesn't show you enemies on the radar until they've been alerted to your presence. That's why I thought there's a freaking blowfly just chilling on the wall right here. Sweet. There might be others. Yeah, there is another one. Come here, bitch. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember blowfly. Well, they probably were that kind of annoying when you're at a low level still. I don't even know why I'm gonna... I don't even think I should bother looting them. You get a lot of radiation from that. There's another bug. God, these things would freaking terrify the crap out of me in real life. Jesus. I'm going to have to look into, like, trying to modify these pipe guns to make them stronger because I have so much ammo for them. Like, the same amount. Runaway's holotape. Interesting. Wasteland survival guide. Wow. How do I read this thing? Can I read this thing? Because I, I wrote that and fall. Well, I guess Moira wrote it, but I was the one who freaking, uh, you know. Yeah, take the bubble gum. That's actually a really good health product for whatever reason. All right, data. No, it's actually in like inventory, isn't it? Miscellaneous runaways hollow tape. I hate how they don't have like the notes section in, in data, where you can uh, list it in like order you've picked it up. Real bad. Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed that that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried and she coming out to him or something worse than anything else she didn't say a word not even when I packed my things I can't go to John he doesn't even know yet no I don't think it's that maybe he'll never know if it weren't for the cabin I I wouldn't have a place to sleep just need some time to think last time I was here I was just a little girl playing clubhouse in this old cabin now I'm really scared. Will anything ever be right again? That's it. Oh, it can't just leave me there. Jeez, what else? What else could be going? Okay, there's gotta be maybe something else in here because I, I'm just really like curious. <laughs> that wasn't enough for me. That wasn't satisfying. That was not as satisfying. I don't because I don't know what's wrong with her. Is she pregnant or something? I don't think she's coming out. Maybe that's possible. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't look like there's really anything else here. Hmm. Alright, well, moving on. What do we got? Let's head on over to this, uh, this factory here. Oh, big old factory. So I just got how the, how the things on the map work. The outline, just the ones, the ones that only have an outline are undiscovered, and the ones that are solid have been discovered. So very good. Okay. Any vats recon to do out here? I might try and just run through this water to reduce my radiation exposure because the water's okay. I didn't really. It looks like they might not do it until you get like really deep into it. Wicked shipping fleet lockup. Hold tab. Open perk chart. What do we want to go for? Hmm. Rathman. Ooh, yeah, I might do this because I've been I've been using this pipe rifle a lot. Sure. Twenty percent more damage. I'll take it. Close. Sweet. He will. I'll do myself a quick save for that too. Here, radio. Doing the Fallout 3 theme music. Oh, look at that. There's like stuff over yonder distance. What am I looking at over that way? Oh, that might be the Sunshine Tidings co op. Wow, okay. I just got turned around. I thought I was looking west. Did not realize I was looking south. There's a, a truck in there. What else we got in this place? What is it? What was it called? Whip, wicked shipping. <laughs> wicked shipping hardcore. All right, what do we? What do we got in this? Maybe a power armor bench? Yeah. Oh shit. Feral ghouls. I think I might be feeling that twenty percent more damage. That would mean if you're 
if it normally takes five shots to kill someone, it'll only take four. So that's always good. 20% is a good, a good chunk. Wicked business. I guess I should have just pressed play on it, shouldn't I have? Inventory. Wicked business. <clears throat> I want you to listen to me as a brother here. This whole deal with Eddie is wicked, shiesty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well now I'm overweight again. I need to go through here and really just drop out a lot of crap. It might come in usefulness later, but not right now. Sort by weight, yes. Microscope, antique low, biometric scanner. Oh, that's the stuff you can get from it if you scrap it. Okay, so okay, so not all these things in particular could come in handy, but like scrapping them could. I don't even know if there's any gas in these things. They might be empty. I'm just gonna drop those for the time being. <sighs> How hard is it to find freaking gas cans? Well, it could be. <laughs> it's kind of a that is not a rhetorical question necessarily. Ooh, nice. That's a lot of ammo. That's not what I wanted to do. I did not want to press that button. Uh, that was not the button I wanted to press. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. This is what I wanted to bring up. And not use a stim pack. I think I have a lot of stim packs though. Inventory. I have 10. That's not bad. That's a decent chunk. What do we got in here? Oh, a dead settler. Tarberry. Hear that radio again. Let's see. What we, oh my god, a safe. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Just played some Bioshock and it's like, no, this is not a Bioshock safe. This is a fail. Damn it. Should have gone to the right. Clockwise. Very good. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yes. Take. Take, take, take. I'll pass on that. Take, take. So we'll take that stuff. That is here. Why is the... This is the one gun where it doesn't keep a charge. I guess it's because it's a temporary thing. It kind of maybe discharges or something. Hmm. Oh, I'm having fun. Is everyone having fun? Because I'm having fun. So I'm going to have to be a little more careful about letting out Protectrons now. Because they kind of... They're not easy to deal with. Okay, I didn't... I thought this might... This school might have still been alive. But no, it's dead. A Reaver. Can I go really quiet, quiet, tweet, tweet? Keep them from looking for my ass? Yeah, so I'm hidden again. So this place is full of ghouls. And we're gonna take out the ghouls. What, are, let me, I wanna see what other options are for Protectrons here. Rule, likeness one, sunk. That's it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, what do we got? Uh, choose personality mode. Medical responder. Oh, that would that mean it heals me? Hmm, I don't know. I have to look into that more in the f Oh, shit. Don't be running around like crazy. I'm trying to sneak. All right, let's just go in this other door here. This main door. But, yeah. They sure did make Protectron strong, didn't they? <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> I think I go for, uh, like, uh, headshots too much. Especially with these guys, it might just be worth it just to stick to torso. Or center mass kind of thing. Are we about to be, like, flanked here? I don't know. I don't like being trapped like a rat. Mentats duct tape. Uh, what else we got? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, this goes somewhere. Interesting. Uh, ooh, like a little crafty Wickerman apple thing. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Armor workbench. Is that about? Oh, ooh, yes, yes, very good. Some more ammo for this. I'll take it. Man, this game. This game is gorgeous. I love it. 
It's awesome. So awesome. Okay, let's go back this way. There's stairs that went up that went upstairs here. Who would have thunk? There might be a ghoul. There's someone there's something else. Something's alive in here. There's something else around here. That's still alive and kicking. I don't know where it is, I don't know what it is. There's a body up there. Can I even get to that? Uh maybe. Might be able to crawl this log here. Oh, yeah, dog. A big bag of money. All right. Uh. Oh shit. I see him. Nice. Whoa. It's getting very like almost dust stormy looking out here. It's interesting. All right. Well, I'm gonna stop here. Thanks for. Well, let's check this out real quick. I got a feral gold reaver. Are the reavers like soldiers in this game or something? Radex and a gold watch. A pepper mill. Wooden blocks. Teddy bear. Whoa. What is that? What is going on? What the fuck is this? Is it like a dust storm or something? I see. Holy shit. This does not seem just like a normal thunderstorm. This is crazy, dude. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Good hunting.